Three Rivers Rowing is a community rowing center founded in the early 80s. Three Rivers Rowing is made up of rowing, kayaking, and our premier program, dragon boating. Dragon boating is one of the largest growing water sports in the world, totaling about 50 million participants. Three Rivers Rowing decided to create the Youth Dragon Boat League because we felt that it was important that young Pittsburghers enjoy the rivers just as our older Pittsburghers enjoy the rivers. The Youth Dragon Boat League is held at our Millville Training Center, which is the first and only green certified boathouse in America. We have a lot of success stories in the Youth Dragon Boat League. League. Matter of fact, we have a young lady who started off in the Youth Dragon Boat League and she took to the water so much that she then moved on to our youth rowing program where she is hoping to get a scholarship now based on the rowing. We are extremely proud of our Youth Dragon Boat program where we have over 40 young people paddling on the Allegheny River every summer from May through September. When kids participate in dragon boating, one of the amazing things that they get out of it is all of the metaphors that we as adults automatically understand. Team building, confidence building, self-esteem, leadership, all of those things that we take for granted, all of a sudden they're getting it all in a 43 foot long boat with a dragon head on it that's 700 pounds and there's only one way to get that joker from point A to B and that's to paddle it together. With dragon boating, it's more about the team. We're, when we're doing whitewater kayaking, it's all individual. So this is much nicer because there's other kids, so it's more of a team sport. I'm eight years old. I'm going into third grade, and I love dragon boating. It's just being near the water and getting to feel the water and having an experience to feel what it's like to be actually in a boat and actually rowing it. I heard about it at work, and some of our friends are involved in dragon boating. So we thought we'd give it a try. It's very relaxing, it's beautiful out on the water, very good exercise, and the time just flew by. The best thing about being on the river, I like the view. It's just really serene when you're just out there. You really don't think about problems, you're just working together. It's very peaceful. Yeah, really relaxing. There's so many diversity of ages of where everybody's growing up where they're from. You have kids from 10 to like 16, right. and, and they love each other. It's just, it's, it is a positive atmosphere. The nice thing about paddling is that anybody can do it, basically. So they get in the boat and they have a good time. They splash around, they a little bit shambolic, but it's all good. And then after a few sessions, they start clicking, they start getting into it. They really start working as a team. Some of the things that the kids have shared with me that they've gotten out of our uh, Dragon Boat program is most of them have never competed in any sport, be it soccer, football, or basketball. Coming into our Dragon Boat League, our Youth Dragon Boat League, they had an opportunity to paddle in our Dragon Boat Festival. And for the first time ever, they walked home with a medal. They've never earned a medal. So because of their hard work, they were awarded. And not only did they just win a medal, but they won first place. It's very rewarding and then you learn something from it. Inspiring me the most is seeing people reach goals which they never thought they could reach, myself included. You know, people achieving things physically, uh, in terms of teamwork and emotionally, that is really impressive. Uh, and that happens here all the time, both with kids and adults. You see it in the faces of the parents when they see their kids on the water, and that's kind of cool. If a parent is interested in having their kid participate in one of our paddling or rowing programs, a couple of things that we like them to know right away, that it's a very safe sport. You have professionals coaching them. You have experienced paddlers as well as neophyte paddlers. It is mandatory that they wear a life vest. We have safety boats on the water. Three Rivers Rowing as an organization is known to, for creating a safety policy on water. Sometimes I uh, got too much weight. <laughs> Sometimes uh, 
likes to rock back and forth, be like, oh snap, what's about to happen? But actually, nothing really happened, so I do feel pretty safe. So I'm really relaxed just going in there. I didn't even think about it being dangerous. It, the boat, boat was so steady and we have our life jackets and that didn't even enter my mind. Mostly it's about teamwork, so it's like a lot of teamwork and skills, and, I, and we, I like to bring people into it, and they like to be a part of it. My parents love it. They like me doing things and actually sticking to it. Our kids are triers. They're not deniers, and that's what makes this program very successful because we bring a lot of triers in. This is something that most Pittsburghers don't know exist, and these kids are almost the pioneers uh, for their peers to open the uh, pathway that this is what you get to do in our three rivers. I was uh, surprised at how nice it was to be out on Pittsburgh's rivers. It really was enjoyable and really pretty. What a better way to spend the day on the water, nice warm day. In working with each other. You can be whatever level and you can really enjoy yourself. It's almost like an adventure to see their eyes, to see when they come back in and they go, wow, I didn't know I could do that. And the confidence that they gain from having the anxieties of originally doing it to actually doing it and wondering when they could do it again.